A new batch of vaccines has arrived in Manaus and inoculations have resumed after being suspended for a week. The vaccination program came under scrutiny after local authorities were accused of favoring themselves and friends by skipping the line and taking shots ahead of health workers and the elderly. Two field hospitals have been set up in Manaus where patients must wait for a room. We're swamped. Field hospitals should help us redistribute patients. But this, the largest city in the Brazilian Amazon, still faces a shortage of oxygen. And health workers have been working around the clock to keep patients from suffocating to death. Like many, Valceni Ferreira's aunt didn't make it. You ask a nurse to help you and she says she can't do anything because she's dealing with another patient who is dying right in front of you. There aren't enough healthcare workers to deal with this. We wouldn't be in this situation if the Amazonas state had invested in healthcare. Where did all the money go? The health minister Eduardo Pazuello visited Manaus this week for the second time. He's also being investigated for allegedly mishandling the crisis. We had a big increase in the number of infections in early January, tripling the number of infected people. This was a completely unknown situation to everyone. And then there is the new variant of the coronavirus, discovered in Manaus, and much more contagious than the first. It has already spread to São Paulo, Brazil's richest city. As a result, countries like the United States, Portugal, Peru and Colombia are restricting flights to and from Brazil. For a period of 30 days, passenger flights from Colombia to Brazil and Brazil to Colombia will be suspended. Brazil has the largest COVID-19 death toll after the United States. But according to a study by Australia's Lowy Institute, comparing how 98 countries have dealt with the pandemic, Brazil is considered the worst. It's at the bottom of the list right after Mexico, Colombia, Iran and the U.S. China was not included due to a lack of data. Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro has always downplayed the virus and even questioned the value of vaccines. He has also asked governors and mayors to avoid lockdowns. Think twice about restrictive policies. You must understand that isolation, lockdown, and confinement leads to destitution. I've always said that the economy walks hand in hand with life. São Paulo and Manaus have just imposed new restriction measures. But in Rio de Janeiro, where the number of infections is also growing, beaches are crowded and social distancing seems to be a thing of the past. Monica Yanakiev, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.